I'm Christian Schaefer with your WMAR 2 News update. On Wednesday, another 325 cases of the coronavirus were reported in the state of Maryland, bringing the total number of confirmed cases here to 1,985. That number includes a second employee of the Baltimore City Public School System. The patient works at Stewart Hill Academic Academy, which is an elementary school near Union Square in southwest Baltimore. However, city school officials say that person got the virus after all schools had already been closed. Two postal workers in our area have also tested positive. One was a worker at the post office in the Brooklyn neighborhood in South Baltimore. The other works at the Dundalk post office. So far, at least 31 people in Maryland have died from the effects of the coronavirus. That includes a man in his 60s in Baltimore County, just confirmed to have died from COVID-19, and a man in his 80s who lived at the Frederick Health and Rehabilitation Center. Six other residents at that same home have tested positive, and that is just one of the many nursing homes and retirement communities in Maryland now reporting outbreaks across the state. Six residents and one staff member at Genesis Lock Raven Center have also tested positive. Also, there are five reported cases at the Future Care Cold Spring Senior Facility in Northeast Baltimore. The Baltimore City Health Department has not said how many of those five cases are staff members and how many are residents, but as of this morning, two were in the hospital in Carroll County. Three people and one staff member from Carroll Lutheran Village in Westminster have also tested positive for COVID-19. The residents being treated in private isolation rooms, the employee being self-isolated at home. As for that other outbreak in Carroll County, the large outbreak at Pleasant View Nursing Home in Mount Airy, no new cases were reported Wednesday, but of the 95 residents who live here, 77 tested positive for COVID-19. Five people from that nursing home have died from the effects of the virus. You have more time to sign up for health insurance. If you're not covered right now, state officials, state officials have extended the special enrollment period now through June 15th. Around 10,000 people in Maryland have already signed up since this new program was made available last month. So you go to the Maryland Health Connection website, select Coronavirus Emergency Special Enrollment Period, and if you do enroll by April 15th, your coverage is retroactive. It starts on April 1st. We have more information about that on the website right now at WMR2news.com. Looks like the eye in the sky surveillance planes will be coming to Baltimore on Wednesday. The city's board of estimates voted three to two to approve the contract for what's going to be a six month pilot program. The planes will be used to collect images to help investigate murders, nine fatal shootings, armed robberies and carjackings. The police commissioner Michael Harrison wound up being one of the program's strongest advocates after he was initially objecting to the program when he first got here in Baltimore last year. Harrison now says the planes won't be used for real time surveillance only to look back at events that have already happened. He says no one could be arrested solely based on images produced by those planes. And now from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. Happy almost Friday everyone on this Thursday. We are tracking some sunshine out there for most of the day and then by the afternoon we will start to increase those clouds a bit, but breezy conditions on tap for today, making it feel a lot chillier out there, but we will have those temperatures warming as we head into the tail end of the weekend and into next week, at least the beginning of it. So for today we are going to be breezy. We'll have those gusts up to about 25 to 30 miles an hour before it's all said and done today. And also starting out with lots of sunshine, we will go to mostly sunny, partly cloudy to mostly cloudy as we go through the rest of today. And then by Friday, we'll have even more clouds and a spotty shower is possible. It's a slight chance for that, but mainly dry on your Friday. As we work our way into the weekend, we will see a mix of sun and clouds out there. For today, though, it is going to be gorgeous. Get out there, enjoy it, but make sure you do dress accordingly because that seasonal temperature of 59 is going to feel a little bit chillier than that. We say 59 as we head towards Friday, but then, Christian, I want to jump to the upper 60s for Sunday and Monday and maybe even 72 on Tuesday. Looks like a couple nice days next week. Uh, Lynette, thanks very much. Stick with us online at WMRTNews.com. All day long for updates on top stories and breaking news and for news and weather on the go you can download the WMAR 2 news app it's in the app store it's got a live radar and you can set up breaking news alerts to come straight to your phone or tablet thanks for watching I'm Christian Schaefer this WMAR 2 news update is sponsored by Jones Junction